They feed by filtering minute particles of plankton from the water as the current flows through the intricate lacework of their branches. This fan coral can flourish where the water is clean and free from silt. They only grow a few centimeters per year. What appears to be a brown bush is in fact black coral, which is valuable when carved and polished. The living beauty of the Alsonian soft corals can only be enjoyed by those who venture beneath the seas, for these exotic growths disintegrate completely if removed from the water. The reef is not just a mass of rocks. It is, in fact, a complex structure of living organisms interdependent on each other. No other ecology on Earth supports such a variety or density of life. Literally, thousands of unknown species of fish, invertebrate, and corals exist here. This sad-looking fellow is waiting for a cleanup by one of the smallest yet most important inhabitants of the reef, the cleaner fish. The agile wrasse has a shop on the reef that is well known to all the other reef dwellers. His relationship with the other fish is a remarkable example of symbiosis. For most divers, the ultimate location for a spectacular dive is Ras Mohammed. The headland of the southernmost tip of the Sinai, it is a wonderful vantage point for the large pelagic fish passing in the Red Sea. A diver who takes food down into these waters becomes a piscatorial Pied Piper. Fish swim in from all directions. Some biologists have expressed concern that the divers may damage the coral. They also fear that feeding the fish with an unnatural diet may have detrimental effects.
The moray eel hides in the dark recesses of the reef, but it can be lured out into the open with the offer of an easy meal. The moray has a fearful reputation. The Chilinus undulatus, a giant bumphead wrasse, is one of the biggest fish to establish friendship with the divers. He has grown to more than four feet long and probably weighs about 350 pounds. He constantly accompanies the regular divers at the Ras Mohammed and is quite partial to a boiled egg. These are short-nosed gray reef sharks, sharks unique to the Red Sea. They're quite different from the common Pacific gray reef shark. Their behavior is much more skittish. Sharks always attract other fish. Some will attract rainbow runners, while others will have a jack swimming along beside them. also accompany the shark. Cobias resemble, but are totally unrelated to the shark. The fact that people think of sharks as primitive and cruel is perhaps the reason why they're so fascinating to man. They are indeed an extremely efficient hunting machine. In this particular reef, obviously the top of the food chain, the ultimate predator. see here a bit of their courtship behavior, the actual mating of sharks has never been seen in the open sea. 